All right, guys, to finish up this lesson, we're going to look at precision versus accuracy. All right, so it says look at each target and decide whether the hits are accurate, precise, or both accurate and precise, or neither accurate nor precise. So what does it mean to be accurate? For the bullseye, it means, or throwing darts or whatever, it means you hit the bullseye. So the bullseye, if you uh, haven't played darts before, the bullseye is in the center of the target. All right, so is this one accurate? Did they hit the center of the target or the bullseye? No, so this one is not accurate. Is it precise? Well, these are all clustered together. So yes, it is precise, even though it's not accurate. The middle one, they have hit the bullseye every single time and they are clustered together. So this one is yes, it's accurate and yes, it's precise. This one has one hit in the bullseye, but the rest are all over the place. So this one's not going to be accurate and it's not precise because they're not grouped together and only one hit the bullseye. All right, let's look at a couple more examples. So trying to find accuracy in measurements. All right, here it says the length of this miniature piezoelectric motor is. All right, so it says in millimeters, we know that 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. All right, so if this is 10, this would have to be five, 10, I'm guessing this is 10 centimeters. Um, so this would be eight centimeters. All right, um, this one here is in centimeters as well. So we got one, 1.5, 2, 2.5. So if we come up here, we're trying to figure out how long this line is. And it's going to be just past 5.5. You can see it's past 5.5. So it's going to be around 5.7 centimeters. That's going to be your closest um, measurement. All right, last two examples. Um, this one says the arrow denotes the measured point. Again, we're in millimeters, so we know this is one, two, three centimeters. It's not quite to three centimeters. So there's 2.5. Six, seven, eight. So 2.8 centimeters. All right. So even though this is 2.8 and this is 2.80, um, we know that 2.8 is the correct answer because it doesn't have increments in between um, each one. So the 0.8 represents the millimeters. We know this is in millimeters, but 0 0.80 would have to be even smaller than the millimeters there. And we don't have anything smaller here in measurement to measure that. All right, the last one, the volume of a liquid being measured in this cylinder. You can see it goes from six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is representing the round cylinder, even though it's hard to represent a three-dimensional shape on a 2D piece of paper or your computer. So um, this is going right through eight cc's of whatever this liquid is. Just says liquid, so you can assume it's just some liquid, anything you want it to be, I guess. All right, so um, it's going to be in centimeters cubed because it's cubic centimeters anytime it is uh, three-dimensional, and a cubic cylinder has a depth width and height, so that's why it's cubic. Right, and I'm gonna say it's going right through eight. That is the closest we could get. Um, we could do eight, 8.59. It's not actually at 8.5, it's just kind of looking like it's rounded there, so be careful. Um, this one would be a half a centimeter uh, higher all the way across before it would be that. All right, that is all the examples. I hope you can measure with more accuracy now.